everyone, Eric Andrews here with Kenton Brothers Systems for Security, where we protect people, property, and possessions. In today's video, we're discussing elevators, in particular, how to secure them with cameras and access control. Elevators can be tricky to do. They require a lot of planning and also coordination with the elevator company. We'll get into some of those details today and what you need to know. Step one is by far the most important stage, and that's planning. Securing an elevator requires some collaboration between the elevator company, the security integrator, as well as the client. So the client lets the security integrator know how they want the elevator to function and behave. The security integrator works in collaboration with the elevator company to make that possible. So Eric, while this planning, we assume that Kenton Brothers does a lot of planning for all of their projects, which is true. What makes elevators so particular? Well, a big part of the planning is lining up the client's expectations with the elevator's current functions. So we take in exactly what you're looking for it to accomplish, uh, and then we work with the elevator company to decide, is that elevator already able to do those things? What needs done uh, to accomplish that? And what needs installed? Let's use a small example. Where do you want the card reader mounted? Is it on the outside of the elevator, denying access altogether? Or is it on the inside of the cab, denying access just to certain floors, or both? You may want to deny access to the elevator because it's not for the public, but then you also uh, want to deny access to certain floors once someone steps inside because you may have tenants, you may have different departments, or it could be just a secure facility. So things like that, we work with the elevator company to decide, is there already traveling cable in the elevator? Is there space for us? Where's the control panel at for the elevator? And then where's our control panel for the access control? And so on. So you can see it can get complicated quick. Step two is integration. We work with a professional elevator technician to not only make sure the proper cables are in place, but also integrate the card reader into the elevator's controls. With a camera inside of an elevator or access control, we need to make sure that there's traveling cable. So cable that's gonna allow the elevator to go up and down freely, but then still connect back to a head in somewhere on your security system. Step three is configuration. So now that the systems are integrated, the elevator and the access control and video, we need to make sure that we go back to the client's expectations of how they wanted it to function. And so we need to make sure that our configuration is lining up with exactly that. Step four is to test and calibrate. So when you put security inside of an elevator, you're introducing a lot of moving pieces, no pun intended. And so with access control or video, we need to make sure that we spend time testing that system, so it behaves on each floor the way we said it would, and then also the camera's field of views are dialed in correctly. The fifth and final step is training. So now the system's configured to do exactly what we wanted it to do when we were in our planning phase, we need to make sure that the admins and users of the system, whether it be guards or IT directors or tenants or whomever, understands exactly how the system works and how changes are made. So, moral of the story, you want to put security in an elevator? Get us in contact with your elevator company and we'll make sure you're taken care of. Thanks for watching.